Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I'm at a kind of an elongated roundabout in Manchester. Where we've got some failure of an asphalt pavement. You can see that Volkswagen Beetle just went clattering through a selection of potholes over here in what looks like a 10 millimeter thin surface coarse type material or a SMA stone mastic asphalt type material. And you can see over here a big inlaid patch. On either side of the inlaid patch then the material has failed and this is because this type of material, this stone mastic asphalt type material, once it fails, once it begins unraveling like this, it'll just continue to do so. But let's talk about the failure mechanism over here where we have this inlaid patch. So on this side of the road we've got a lane heading straight and over on this side we've got a lane turning right. And where the patch has been inlaid is the beginning of the stress point for the turning tires. So you've got turning and braking at that location because there's a part-time traffic lights at that location as well. So the material over here has begun to fail. It was initially inlaid with a selection of small patches and you can just see one of them right here at the back. And then the material around the patches failed. So the patches And then the material around the patches failed, so the patches were proud of the surrounding binder course. And once that had gotten bad enough, that was all taken out and a large patch replaced. But then either side, the material continues to fail because the stress and the age of the material at that point is very similar to what's been replaced. So there really isn't much of a solution at this location especially here, other than to continue to replace it. Bizarrely at this roundabout, everything beyond that line, around this roundabout and up the other side, has been replaced with hot rolled asphalt, which will provide durability to resist the action of traffic undertaking maneuvers in this type of situation. Why it wasn't done on this stretch is probably because at the time that that was replaced, this section here hadn't failed. But about a year on, it has begun to fail and you can see the telltale signs here of grit at the side of the road, various cracks because I believe there's a concrete underlayment here. You can see the transverse cracking along the road here, which is reflecting through. And so as those cracks are stressed, the material will begin to break down, as we can see at locations like this. The other failure we have here is a joint failure. It's only failing on my side of the joint. The rip where that vehicle is driving at the moment seems to be relatively okay but as we can see further up here in the higher stress situation it has begun to fail as well so the solution here really isn't patching it's a full inlay repair where you take out all the material and replace it and so the road owner has to decide if it's better value to patch a few locations and postpone the works for a while perhaps by six months or a year as they've done in this in this location or if it's better just to do a good job in the short term this comes down to the financial constraints so there you go that's what's happened at this location thanks for watching see you later